Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. In this video, we're going to go over Big Idea 3, Algorithms and Programming, Topic 3.1, Variables. In the last class, we went over the unplugged activity on how to actually play dice. And you learned how to actually play that. That way we can actually build out the game in MIT App Inventor over the next couple topics in Big Idea 3. For today, we're going to cover variables. So here you can see variables, we're going to have a die 1 and a die 2. We're also going to keep track of the role because as you learned from the unplugged activity, you need to keep track of what role you currently are on to know if you win or you lose. So let's actually look at this. Here's my MIT App Inventor. And again, just to show you, we're only working with variables. We're going to improve this game as we learn more and more in algorithms and programming for AP Computer Science Principles, Big Idea 3. So here we're just going to have, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to design this, but everything's not going to work right now. We're only focusing on variables. So for variables, we're going to have a die 1 and a die 2. So you can see here it says die 1 is 7 and die 2 is 2. And you can see current roll is 0. Now the sum is 8 and you win. That's not going to work, but we're going to work on that again as we go to topic 3.2 and topic 3.3. Our basic dice game is going to cover from 3.1 to 3.7 in the AP Computer Science Principles Big Idea 3. So by the end of 3.7, we'll have a fully fleshed out dice game. But for now, we're just gonna focus on 3.1, which is variables. So we're focusing on variables for die one, die two, and the current role. So let's see that this works. Right now it says die one is seven, and die two is two. Current role is zero. If I press roll them, Die 1 is 5, die 2 is 5, roll is 1. I press it again, it's 5, 2. As you can see, the numbers are randomly changing. And that's all we're going to do for today for variables, just to show you the importance of variables. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to project, start a new project, and let's call it my dice game. Now we're here on the home screen. Obviously, I don't want that screen one there. So I'm going to say, welcome to Jamie's, Jamie Gantz dice game. Again, don't put my name, put your name. Now for the background, I already have a background, but you can simply go to Google Images, Casino, Background, and you can look for some of these, or you can put Casino Dice background, find you a nice image that you want as your background. Again, use your creativity. I already have my background, so I'm just going to simply upload it. So I'll go to background image, upload, and there we go. Now, for now, we're going to have two buttons. One of them will work and take us to the play game screen. The other one will work on a little bit later. So let's just drag two buttons in. First one will be BTN dice rules. Now that button is not going to work. I'm just going to put dice rules. Again, you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to really quickly put play with some of these properties to something that I kind of like. So there's dice rules. Now this is BTN play game. And again, I'm going to do something that I like, play game. And I'll make it the opposite of that. So I'll maybe make this one red. So there we go. Now again, I don't want it like that. I'm going to center mine. Again, you can feel free to change this if you want. And I think I want to center it there as well. So for now, because I have not given you any images, we're just going to have this. And then we're going to go and design our other screen. And our other screen is going to look just like this. So we're going to use this as a guide. 
But let's go ahead and just get this working since we're here now. So let's get our button play game. We want to go to another screen. Click on control, scroll down, open another screen with screen name. Let's fill it in with text and we're going to call it play dice. All right, now we only have screen one. We need to make another screen. So I'm going to click on add and there we go. So now we have a play dice screen. So if I go back to screen one, coded this. So if I click on play game, you see it takes me to the play dice screen. Now I noticed something here. I don't like how it looks. See how they, they're right on top of each other. Let's add a spacer in between that. So I'm gonna drag a label in between that. I'm gonna call it spacer one. I'm just gonna make it empty. And I'm gonna make the height, let's say two pixels high. So now you can see there's a little space in between there. Let me just show you what it looked like before. I get rid of that, see how it's touching. But if I add a label, get rid of the text and change the height, that happens. So I, let's see if I made it five, you can see it, it gets more space. And again, you can play with this. If I made it 20, see how much space you kind of get. So again, feel free to play with that. I think I'll move it back to something like 10. All right, so we have our play game. Let's actually, just to add something that we always have, let's add in our text-to-speech. Let's have it talk. So we'll add in speech. And you can put in any type of message you want. Let's play dice to win some real money. So I just want to test that this works. Let's play dice to win some real money. So there you go. All right, so now we need to design what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is pull this out and kind of cover this area here. That way I can see it. You can see I have a label across the top, two labels actually, one that says money, one that says welcome to casino. So I'm gonna drag in two labels. First one is LBL money. And it's gonna say money. And to start out the game, you're gonna have $100. And the background color, you can make whatever you want. I'll just make mine dark gray. I'm gonna make the fill parent. Looks like the text color is white. And I'll make it like 24. And I wanna center that. And there you go. And you can play with that. The next one is LBL welcome. And it'll say welcome to Jamie Gantz Casino. And again, you can play with it how you want. I'm just gonna stick with what I have. Make that white, make this like 16. Fill all the way across. Make it bold and centered. All right, now my background. Let's click back on that, play dice. And I already have my background uploaded, so I can select that. And there you go. Now at the bottom, you can see I have a button, have a horizontal arrangement with two labels in there, another label, and another horizontal arrangement with two labels. So let's just work down. I have a button. And I can see I'm going to want to center my stuff. This button is BTN Rollum. And I'm going to say Rollum. And let's say whatever. Again, you can make it however you want. And I'm at 
I want to roll them bigger and I might want to shape around it. There we go. Now I want it to go towards the bottom. So to make it go towards the bottom, again, I'm gonna put a spacer here. I'll just call it spacer one. I'll get rid of the text. And I'm gonna make the height to push everything down. I'm gonna make it fill parent. So right now it pushed it all the way down because it's saying take up the rest of the space. But as I add stuff underneath it, it'll shrink. All right, so the next thing we got is this little horizontal arrangement right here with text inside of it. I'm gonna drag that in. I'm gonna do fill parent. And I'm gonna make it none. And then I have two labels in here. It looks like one, but it's actually two. So I'm gonna drag in a label one and here. So this is LBL die one. So uh, a individual die. So you think dice is two. One is a die. So it's LBL die one. And we're just gonna say die one colon and let's just start it out at seven. Why not? And again, we'll make this. A lot bigger, uh, eh, 30 will work. And say I want it white, sure, or maybe I want it white and I want this to be something like black, sure. This will be LBL die two. It's gonna show the value for our rolled dies. This will be die two. And let's just say we made that three, all right? So I'll make this the same. And this is white. Maybe I'll make these yellow at the bottom for now. We're gonna change this anyway, but we're gonna make these actually pictures in the next assignment. But for today, because we're just focusing on variables, we're, we're just using simple labels. And I'm going to center my horizontal arrangement. So I have die two is there and die one is there. All right, that works for me. I have current roll underneath that and then the sum. Even though we're not going to do these later on, let's just knock out the design right now. So I'm going to drag a label underneath and another label. All right, so. Here, we're going to have LBL current role. And that's just going to say current role and zero. And I'll make that yellow. Make it 24. And I'll make it bold and italics. And this one is, actually this is, this is two. The sum is, and you win. The sum is eight and you win. Are two separate labels. And you can see that right here. It says horizontal arrangement, label sum, label win or lose. So. That's why I also give you my screenshots just to make sure you're good. So first, that's a, I need another label down here. And I need a horizontal arrangement. So for this one, I'm gonna put none. And I'm gonna put my labels in there. I'll make this go all the way across for my horizontal arrangement, the width. Make the background color black. And inside of here, now this is LBL sum. And that's going to say the sum is, our sum right now is 10, so I'm gonna put 10. And that seems like that is white. And I'm gonna make that, parent for the width 
And if I make the other label fill parent for the width, they're going to split the space equally. So for this one, this is LBL win lose. And this will show whether they win or lose. And right now I'm just going to say you win. I got a lot of yellow in this. I want to change some of my stuff. And, and I'm going to make this one also fill parent. So there you go. Now the sum is, I want this closer to you win. So I'm going to change the text alignment from left to right. And I think that works. And I've just made my horizontal arrangement left and center. That way the sum is in the middle of that. All right, so that looks good. I want to change these guys to something different because uh, maybe I'll just like white. I've got too much yellow down here. All right. So this is what we are designing. Again, we're not going to finish everything today. We're going, we're following the AP computer science principles, big ideas in this topic. Our topic is variables. We're going to focus on these two guys and this. We're going to make some variables for die one and die two and for the current role. And then we will simply code that. We will do that in the next video. So go ahead over to the next video.